good evening to everyone uh, in today's class we are going to see some of our uh, c programming so already in our past videos that means in our past classes we just come across with what are the different patterns we can do uh, either by using the numericals as well as the asterisks and we come across with swapping of two numbers by using the buffer or by using the buffer with arithmetical uh, arithmetical operations in these two videos uh, we printed the output as uh, in two methods first one by directly assigning in the program so whatever the numericals are there it directly assigned in the program itself and the second method is we can take from the user as per the user's wish instead of writing every time the code we can directly ask the user which how which number or how many times we can directly take in the value from the user so in today's class uh, we go for the reversing of the number okay so reversing of the number that means if the user provides any value of uh, for example 321 okay if the user provides the value of 321 the output window will be represented as the output window will be represented as 123 because that is reversal so we just we will say the loss so this is the given number 321 321 so my expected output is expected output is 123 123 so that means the leftmost bit the leftmost bit will be uh, will be converted as the rightmost bit as well as the rightmost bit in the given number is converted into the leftmost bit okay so to get this to get this we have two logics we have two logics the first one is we need to rotate this number that means it should be that means the last bit should goes for the first option so for this for this if i observe this number if i am observe this number if i divide this number with 10 if i divide with this number with 10 10 it should be gets the coefficient as well as remind coefficient as well as the remind for each iteration if i want to convert let's check once so if i divide this number with 10 if i divide with, uh, this number with 10 so i'm getting the coefficient value 321 so the multiple will be so multiple will be 3 here when i it is multiplied with 3 it will be around 30 30 that means the remainder right now it is Two, two. So the next number is one. So if I am considering it as now two, so this here it is twenty, twenty. That means the remainder is the remainder is one. That means the remainder is one. Here the coefficient is one. Ah, uh, coefficient is thirty-two. and the remainder is 1 okay so for time being we just uh, place this one as it is so i am considering uh, in the reverse number that means i am considering a variable so here i am assigning the reverse number okay variable as re okay in the reverse number i just place this reminder in the reverse a uh, variable i just store the remainder value so that is 1 in the first iteration it is 1 second the rest of the value is that means the coefficient value the coefficient value is 32 right now i am placing a coefficient value the coefficient value will be 
the coefficient value is 32. The coefficient value is 32. So that means in first iteration, in first iteration, you were divided with 10. You divided the given number with 10. You are taking the remainder as your one uh, remainder in one variable and coefficient in another variable. We are fine. Next, whatever the coefficient is there, whatever the coefficient is there, we are considered this one as the given number. In that means in second iteration, in second iteration, we are considering this as your this as your given number. This as your given number for the second iteration. Again, the same process. Divide with 10. Divide with 10. So when I divide with 10, when I divide with 10, it will be around 3. So it when it is 3, when it is 3, the that means the coefficient is 3. When the coefficient is 3, uh, what about your way, uh, reminder? What about your reminder? It is 2. The reminder is 2. So now, now, kindly observe, whatever the previously I'm considering the reminder 2, in that place, your current iteration reminder should be placed. That means by not omitting that variable, we just I want to add this variable to that one to bring out this 123 to bring out this 123 there kindly observe this should be most from units place because this is units tens units tens and hundreds units tens and hundreds units tens hundred units tens and hundreds now, currently, this reminder is in units. This need to be shifted to the tens place. That means this reminder should be multiplied with, this reminder should be multiplied with 10. Okay. This multi reminder, that means the previous reminder should be multiplied with 10. And the current iteration reminder, the current iteration reminder should be added up to this one. So now it will be 2. Now it will be. Now it will be 2. So it becomes as, that means after second iteration, after second iteration, it becomes as 12. After second iteration, it becomes as 12. What about your coefficient? What about your coefficient? Your coefficient becomes, your coefficient becomes 3. Your coefficient becomes 3. Your coefficient becomes 3. Now the same process. Divide with 10. Divide with 10. So we are getting the coefficient as 0. The coefficient as 0. Coefficient as 0. Because it is 0 point. So the coefficient as 0. Because we are considering only the numericals in the intervariable. So the coefficient is 0. And whereas coming to the reminder. Reminder. It will be 3. Reminder it will be 3. So here. Now. Here this is tens sorry this is units this is units and one is in tens again the same process whatever the previous reminders storage variable that is 12 it should be multiplied with 10 so it becomes 120 into 10 sorry 12 into 10 it becomes 120 and current reminder will be added up current reminder will be added up. So now it becomes as 123. What is my expected output? I hope uh, with this explanation, you can able to understand the way of writing the code. So I just go for uh, my um, online C compiler. So I'm just trying to uh, relate the same code here. Okay. So kindly consider I'm taking the variable from the user. I'm taking the variable from the user. So that is the first declaration. So I'm just declaring. So asking the user. Okay. 
enter the value. So once he enters the value, we just scan off. So kindly, uh, please follow up the things. So we are need not to uh, mention for everything. So once you declare, you can be stored. Okay. Okay. First thing, we take the value. We take the value from the user. Now, now, the given value having how many iterations, I mean, how many values, that means if the user interested to give only the uh, only the two values or three values, we don't know. But one thing is, whatever your, I mean, whatever your value, whatever the value is not equals to zero, that means the, if the user gives the zero, there is no use of performing because the answer will be zero. Unless it is a zero, you can do for the iterations. You can go for the iterations. So we are writing a condition. We are writing a condition such that such that if the given value is not equals to zero, if the given value is not equals to zero, then you go for the iterations. If the given value is not equals to zero, then you can go for the iterations. So we start our iterations. We start our iterations by using while loop here. Okay, you using the while loop. So in this while loop, the first thing is we need to divide this given number. Okay, whatever the given number is there, it need to be divided and we require two variables. That is first one is the reminder and second one is your coefficient. So I'm declaring a variable. So I'm declaring a variable that is reminder. Okay, I'm declaring the variable reminder. Okay, first one is reminder. So to take this reminder, I need to find out what will, uh, when it divide with 10, okay? When I divide with 10, what is this uh, reminder? What is reminder value? For that, I should use the, I should use the modulus, okay? So the given number will be divided with, divided with 10. So I can get the, modulus i can get the modulus okay whatever the number whatever the number okay it will be divided with it will be stored so in the first iteration it is one and second iteration it is two and third iteration it is three and third iteration it is the okay so the remainder values i'm not considering i'm just adding the reminder oh just i'm just adding the reminder for my reverse number okay whatever the reverse number i am assuming so initially initially we are considering the reverse number as zero because if i am not considering any uh, if i am not assigning zero to it uh, initially some garbage values may be stored so i am initializing the value with zero then you may ask the question why you not initialize the n or rm uh, rm rem variables because I'm just calculating here, n will be directly stored. Uh, before that, I'm not using the n. In the same case, here also, I'm not using the reminder uh, before because after performing some arithmetic operation, only it will be uh, comes into the picture, the reminder, REM, REM variable. Okay. So now I need to find out the reverse variable. For that reverse variable, for each and every iteration, kind of so. Uh, forget about your first iteration. In the second iteration, once I get the reminder and coefficient value, the reminder will be added up, the reminder will be added up to a value, to a value which is already multiplied with 10. That means the reverse value is, the reverse value is already multiplied with 10, already multiplied with 10 and added up with your current, current reminder, okay? And what about your n? That means for next iteration, for next iteration, the given value will be your coefficient, your given value. That means in the second iteration, the coefficient will be comes into your given number variable. So, your n, n is the division of your, division of your, So this uh, condition should be run until the n becomes zero, until the n becomes zero.
and before that if you want to print uh, this is my uh, reverse number and this is given number you kindly write the statements kindly observe uh, before that I'm just writing those two things. Sorry, the reverse value will be stored in the value of REV. It should be taken from M. Okay, so I'm just running the code. We will see is there any errors? Okay, so right now uh, there is no errors. So as a, uh, in the example, we we'll go for the same thing. And I'm just okay for time being. I just run. So don't forget uh, the next line should be printing the next line. We use this. So three, two, one. Okay, so the given value is 3 to 1 and the reverse value is 1 to 3. Okay, so the likewise, you can write n number of values. You may ask the question, if you go for a four digit number, what will be the thing? So I'm just going for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so whatever the number, because we are here, we didn't uh, specify how many digits or whatever may be the things. So for n, I mean, unless the n becomes zero, because here I'm considering in third iteration, the coefficient value is zero. If coefficient becomes zero, automatically the loop will be exit. The loop will be exit. Before that, it will be continuous it iterations. Continuous it iterations. So I hope uh, this will be helpful, uh, helpful uh, for you. Uh, thank you.